Is Wendy William working on a reality show? Whatever happened to the podcast? Well, apparently, recently, you may have seen photos and video footage of Wendy Williams out and about for New York Fashion Week and most recently at Scotto's Restaurant. Well, apparently, we're getting more details about filming that occurred while she was there having dinner. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So one of the people that you always are asking for updates about is Wendy Williams. And honestly, I don't cover every single story that I hear or see because a lot of it is really sad you know, and rumors about her being holed up in her home and things like that. I actually liked that we didn't get an update in regards to Wendy Williams for the last few weeks because I was hoping that maybe she's just resting. But the last story that we did, we were talking about Kelvin Hunter, a.k.a. Kevin Hunter, her ex-husband, fighting in court to get his alimony reinstated. Now a, d a judge has dismissed that. However, they have been ordered to go into mediation. Well, I told you my speculation on that. Be sure to check out that previous video. I said, maybe do you think that Wendy did all of this, everything that's been playing out, so that she didn't have to pay him alimony anymore? Some of you really do agree with me with that. But when you see Wendy Williams out and about, either she deserves an Oscar <laughs> Or there really is something going on. And I do believe on some level there really is something going on. As you know, a lot of people have been waiting for Wendy Williams to launch the Wendy Williams Experience podcast. And a lot of you said, I want that. A lot of you miss Wendy Williams. You miss her on Daytime Talk. So do I. And honestly, if she launched a podcast, I would be the first to listen to it and talk about it. Well... No word on what the where the podcast is or what's going on with that because honestly, anybody named Mama could start a podcast and release an episode today. So I'm kind of shocked that after the news of her getting a podcast, she already had the, the list of people that she was going to have coming into her home, which we all said, wait a minute, Wendy would not want all these people inside her house. She still has that manager that was the jeweler. He was in this video footage of Wendy recently coming out of Scotto's restaurant. But let's get into what Page Six is reporting on what went down at this restaurant. And this is why people believe that she's working on a reality show. So Page Six writes this. Former daytime talk show host Wendy Williams was at Fresco by Scotto on Tuesday holding court and filming a new mystery project. Sources said that Williams, who has been lying low since battling health and addiction issues, took the power eatery by storm. They say a source told us of the scene. Basically, it was a regular night. Then all of a sudden, the Wendy Williams train arrived. The insider added she had a huge crew that basically turned Fresco by Scotto into a movie set. Approximately 30 people in, in the crew. Lights, camera, audio, producers, etc. It looked like a reality show. Sidebar, I, I know a lot of you are probably wondering, like, why this particular restaurant? She's always had a really good relationship with Joanna Scotto, you know, the news anchor. And this is her restaurant, her family restaurant. And she's gone there a few times to eat and, and things like that. So the source continued, said one of the scenes was Wendy having dinner with a friend. Wendy came into the dining room with her big personality, waving at all the guests like they were extras in a movie. Pics of Williams outside the eatery showed that she was wearing a combo of the Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Fendi. And she was, you know, talking with the paparazzi, one of the paparazzi. And this is where I was sort of like, oh, so Wendy is there because she's like, I know you. And he's like, yeah, I used to take photos and things like that of you before. <laughs> Hey, Wendy, one shot right here. Hi. It's sexy, right? Super sexy, girl. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Come this way. We're not dating, by the way. All right. He's my bodyguard. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I know you. Of course. Yeah, I used to shoot all your events. Dons and Divas back in the day. It's nice to see you. Of course. Did you oppose to Johnny real quick? 
Take a bus, take a bus. Take a bus. One polo, one, one solo shot? Take a couple pictures. No, 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 my feet. Okay. My feet, you know, stand. Here you go, Winnie. Oh, we can walk. We can walk. Come, come no, I don't want to fall. No, I'm with you. Because oh. of all the, of all that, you know, the puppy. Right here, Wendy. One shot right here. One shot right here before you step. Okay, no. Can I get one more shot before you get in the car, Wendy? Okay, I can do it myself. Hold on. All right, cool. I'm gonna do it by the top. All right, cool. Ready? Wait, you know what? Oh, yeah. oh yes, I do. All right, smile. Serve some looks. Oh, that's hot. That's Make it hot. look like right. salad. Right. Right. Come on, right. Oh, that's nice. What about this? Wait. Go ahead. With, oh. What, what they continue to say the dinner with the team was what she captioned this video footage that we saw of her outside of outside of the restaurant sharing the clip on her upcoming podcast Instagram account. Reps for Williams denied to comment on the new project. Page Six reported last September that Williams, who has publicly battled alcoholism, had checked into a treatment facility after a recent relapse. The star then was out of re rehab in October, and her rep shared with Page Six at the time that she was, quote, home and healing after being in a wellness facility since August. Wendy is excited about the road ahead and looking forward to releasing her many projects. So this is the very first time that we've heard of Wendy outside of a podcast working on something else. Would I be shocked that she is doing a reality show? Somewhat. But we have to keep in mind, Wells Fargo has all of her money. She does not have free reign over her money. She has a financial guardian still. Part of the reason why Kelvin Hunter does not have access to his alimony anymore is because the financial guardian has deemed this not important, not e an emergency that needs to be paid for someone. But Kelvin is saying, I have to have hip surgery. I have a lifestyle to maintain. I can't pay my mortgage. I don't have any health insurance. So he wants his, his alimony reinstated. But because Wendy has this financial guardian, she can't just sign off on this. But luckily, it seems as if Wendy's lawyers are doing their due diligence in regards to fighting this because the stipulations within the Kelvin situation and whatever he signed off in his divorce agreement and settlement was if she's not on this on this daytime talk show and she's not making the salary that she was making, she does not have to pay you right now. But in mediation, I don't know what will be the outcome. Stay tuned. No word on what where they're at with that. But this was the very first sighting that we've seen of Wendy in a while. The first one was her attending this fashion show. And a lot of people were like, she doesn't look well. Like, she looks great, but her interactions, her behavior just seemed a little off. We also have to keep in mind she does have Graves' disease. So the popping of the eyes has always been because of that. Do you want to see a, a Wendy Williams reality show? I would have years ago. Today, based on what we have scene of Wendy and the people that might be around her and what we're hearing that Wells Fargo is accusing people around her of doing. No, no, I'm, a, I'm still concerned with people's intentions that are working with her and trying to make her work when Wendy Williams really does not have to work. She doesn't. I know she wants to work, but I don't know if this is the way or something that she needs to do right now. If she really is struggling with sobriety issues, focus on your sobriety. Very much like what we were talking with Katie Rose from the Real Housewives of Potomac saying that I've asked Andy to, to bring me back and no one has said anything back to me. I, you know, this is a real story. Yes, th this is a real story. However, you're fresh out of rehab. Your sobriety should be your number one focus. And I get it. You want to make money. You want to make an income. But this is not the place. Reality TV is not the place. People's eyes on your experience is not the place. But... Doesn't mean, guys, just because someone has a, a crew and producers following you doesn't mean that it's actually going to make it to TV. You can hire a production crew right now. I mean, it's going to cost you some money, but she has the money. It's going to cost you some money, but doesn't mean that a network is going to pick it up or a streaming platform is going to pick it up. Some might, especially if it's a mess, but what kind of a mess? You know, before a lifetime or a major network would have worked with Wendy Williams, but 
I don't believe that Wendy Williams, based on what we've seen over the last couple of years, is in a good space in order to work for a network. We all still miss Wendy Williams, and we all hope that one day Wendy Williams will return to her, her full glory. And we are excited about that. But based on what we've seen, even recently, doesn't seem like she might be ready for that. But as always, guys, I love to hear your constructive and honest opinions in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter, I got